Hey everyone, I'm Darren, not AK Southern Mama. And I'm Red Squirrel. <laughs> and behind the camera we have Phil. <laughs> and I'm getting shot birds right He's now. He's excited. <laughs> well, he is shooting you, me birds. You've been keeping him jumping. And Phil's got a, he's got a hurt hip right now, you know? we gotta, we got to take it easy on him. His we take neck, it easy on him. his back, his goober and his crack. His neck, his back, his hip, and his crack. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you'll get feeling better. Um, we got some fun stuff to <laughs> talk about. So he, all right, so speaking about Phil, he, Phil rubs your toe. He does. I have Hallis Regidus in my big toe on my left head. side. Ah, uh, hey. How many times in the last month? Oh. You don't rub his what, hip? You know, I you get a to, massager with heat in it. You know, I was about to say, you need to get one. Is, uh, is it Vakes? Va 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 I bought him some rubbing stuff. Some rubbing stuff. That's that what he, he rubs on his head. Um, what is it? Um, he wants you to rub it on his head. <laughs> Biofreeze. Yeah, he wants Ball me freeze. Biofreeze. Oh, biofreeze. What is that? He wants me rubbing it. It's actually, it really does help for, you know, like 20 minutes or so. What's she oh, like, stick, does it feel good when she just like kind of rubs it in? No, it's a rubber. No, it's I a do roller. it myself. It's a does roller. it feel better? Does it feel good if someone massages it? Yeah, it did the one time she did it. The one time. Whatever. You could be dying. Yeah, right. Rub it. Rub his hip. And if he's going to rub your toe, you can rub his hip. Y'all just be out and rubbing one. I'm like, God, he's been getting old socks and I rub me down. We got some funny stories coming to you uh, today. Uh, I had some close calls yesterday with the weather, but it's uh, everything is cleared out. <laughs> Everything's going to, oh my God. Well, oh, it's the, it's the neighbor. He's cutting the grass. Uh, I was wondering, that was quick. I have a deal with my neighbor. He's got one of those bush hogs that, that these it folds down like wings and it's, it covers what takes me three hours to do, he can knock out in 25 minutes. So wow. I give all my neighbors eggs, and anytime that I give them a carton of eggs with $40 in it, that's a cute clue that's for. A, that's a wink, wink. Time come on over here. And yeah. Mow my grass, Daddy. Yeah, yeah. I love Mr. Burton. He's awesome. Yeah. He knocks it up real quick. All right, so what you got cooking over there, Squirrel? Well, you know, I got me a good little story. I may have to do this. A woman found herself facing charges for coercing her ex boyfriend in sexual activity using a machete. Oh, really? That's what. Oh, as intimidation oh after unlawfully entering his residence. <laughs> I need to see this one coming. <laughs> I can feel the tension in the Samantha uh, Mir, the 20 year old from Montana, <laughs> received a 20 year sentence in state custody for her actions in the June 18th. This happened back in June 18th, and she's just been sentenced. Sentenced at the victim's house in Great Falls. Her trial was delayed soon after her arrest, as medical experts appointed the, both, by both mm -hmm. prosecution and defense to determine that she was mentally fit for trial. She's snuck into the man's home while he was away at a gas station. Upon his return, she surprised him from behind a bedroom door. Here's a picture of her. Let me see. Sometimes you gotta angle it like this because of the good. reflection of the light. No, it's good. Oh. <laughs> Is that the machete wielder? She's like, gee willikers. Yeah. She's like, she looks like she, she just filled her she mouth was like, with. Surprise, <laughs> surprise, she came up from behind him and placed a machete under his throat as detailed in documents. Uh, and she then demanded he lie on the bed, take off his clothes, and proceeded to mount him. Well, according to the victim, coming in the, from behind and mounting. That's according to the victim, the sight of Mir's undress led him to become sexually aroused, and he consented to the intercourse. I think she'd be happy in prison. However, after he ejaculated, he tried to put a way to stop the act. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So she wait. She comes in behind him with a machete, trying to kill him, and then she's like, "Get on the bed!" So she throws him on the bed, and then she jacks him off. No, she undressed. He got aroused. And, I thought we were uh, killing each other. After he ejaculated, he tried to push her away and stop the act. Instead of stopping, she bit him on the left arm. And Just like a man after, after he ejaculated. <laughs> after he ejaculated. After he ejaculated, then he was mad again. She maintained the sexual activity until he lost his erection. Following the incident, Mears remained on the bed, still holding the machete, positioning her back against the victim. The victim managed to snap several photos of her wielding the weapon and shared them with the police. What are you talking about? So she's laying on his back now, and he's got hang on, bitch, and he's got his camera phone up, taking pictures of it. What, what is? What is? What is? What? This is the most but random wait, assault ever. But wait, there's more because she also <laughs> intentionally urinated on the victim's bed, which he claimed this is not six hundred dollars to replace. This is not attempted murder. This was a Friday night. Uh, this was this was too much coke and a lot of fun. 
Uh, the victim managed to flee the house through the back door. Mears insisted to the police that the intercourse was consensual, but her statement was disorganized and off-topic, as noted by the officer. Uh, she was ultimately sentenced to 20 years under the care of the Montana Department of Public Health and Human Services. Uh, yeah, she's been labeled a Tier 2 sex offender with a mandate to undergo treatment and counseling. And she's also, uh, she has to adhere to all of her medications and follow her health care team's recommendations. I didn't hear nothing wrong. Uh, I don't think wrong. She was I don't think that he's got a case. She here. faced charges, that's sexual like intercourse. Johnny, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. Sexual <laughs> intercourse without consent, <laughs> aggravated burglary, and criminal mischief. Uh, what is the mischief for pissing in the bed? The criminal mischief? I don't. I, I, get, I, get, I guess that. How, how can you? How can you scream? You're gonna. You're gonna scream. How can you scream attempted murder when you're like, you know what? Hang on. Let me. <laughs> Okay, let me just jack me off. And I'm then just here. When I, after I nut, I'm going to think about it. And then if I'm still upset. I'm going to take some pictures. I'm going to. And then she's like, no, you can't do that. And instead of going in front way, she's like, no. <laughs> and she's like pushed up against him with her back. And she's like, get hard again. And he's like, no, Katie. And he gets his cell phone out. He's like, snap, 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 snap. Like, how are you able to take I, selfies with her? I mean, like, this is I not... Mean, if this happened to a woman, y'all wouldn't be questioning it, but it happened to a man. The hell I wouldn't. Then she flicked her bean feverishly <laughs> until she squirted a little bit, and then she was upset again. You can't mask... You can't... You listen, you can't, she paid you can't have an orgasm with a murder suspect and then get mad again and then claim... <laughs> Right. Like, what the hell is you doing? Stop it. Stop it. Don't rob me. Stop it. Don't cut me. Okay. Get in there. 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 Oh, God. Get in there. Get in there. Okay. Okay. I'm done. I'm done now. I'm done. Never. Never. I'm over again. No, that's bull below me. That's below okay, me. Okay. Well, anyway, she's going to prison for 20 years. She shouldn't have. See, she sounds like a great time. In fact, <laughs> I, I would encourage her to get out as soon as possible and uh, come. <laughs> With your machete. She's like, piss all over the bed. At least she didn't shit on it. She could have pulled a... That's true. She could have pulled a... Um, Amber. Amber Heard. Yeah. That's, that's what it sounded like. That's what it sounded like. She didn't poop. She peed, though. That's another thing. Like, she just got mad. She's like, no, we'll keep my back on you. He's like, no, I'm going to take pictures of you. She's like, no, you're not. But she's on the grand scheme of things. Like, poop you can just Have we up. covered this story before? No. Oh, that's a wild one. All right, switching gears here. You like to go to the beach. I know you like to go to the beach. Yeah. yeah. I'm not all about... I mean, the last four times I mean, I didn't, I, didn't even, I never even went to the beach. I mean, I just like the palm trees, the breeze, the good seafood, the little cabanas, yeah. like the lagoon, good lagoon is good. Yeah. Well, these guys felt the same way. There's an island off the coast of Florida, off the, down the Tampa area. This would be in Gulf Side, I would imagine. Tampa. Tampa. And it's a nine-acre island. It's been it's been known as um, as as Beer Can Island for obvious reasons. The locals like to go out there. It's a nine-acre island. And uh, they like to patron the island. They go out there, and it's a it's a common spot to people to drink, have fun. And of course, people leave their trash behind because they weren't raised properly, and they're pieces of shit. Right. Um, but the the, uh, the island, after so long, it, the actual name of the island is Pine Key, to be exact. It has a, has an official name, Pine Key, but everybody knows it's Brick Island. Well, anyway. After years of, of, of going to this place, the owner that actually owned the island never went to the island. He never enforced any of the, the rules. And so these four guys got together and said, hey, why don't we buy the island? And they did. And they started to construct things on the island. And they have they have done really good. So they bought the island for $65,000. That's good. Pretty damn good. Pretty yeah. damn good. Um, they bought it for $65,000 in 2017. And... The locals were supportive of them, but then they weren't because they'd been used to going to this island, right? And they're like, well, we just, we, we, we've just we considered, we've taken ownership of this island. So they just kept going to the island, even though they were trying to turn it into something else. It was a private club only. They had a bar out there. They had like a little pool area. They had uh, like a little, uh, you could rent out and sleep there, little bungalows and stuff. Well, what they did was they finally met halfway with the locals, and they gave them a little spot of the island. They called to get together, but for the rest of the point, ninety percent of the island, they would have weddings there and all this stuff. Anyway, so these guys bought this island right for sixty-five thousand yeah. dollars. But they put it on the market. Guess how much there's for? Fourteen million, and they're gonna get it too. Imagine that investment. A vacant Florida island just oh. off the coast of Tampa, Florida, known generations as Beer Cut Island, has recently been listed for $14 million. And good news is, those of you out there that deals in the cryptocurrency, well, you may be an eligible purchaser of this said island. 
Yeah, the islands were, uh, uh, represents a unique opportunity for the right investor uh, and demonstrates why real estate is such a popular investment. Four friends had the crazy idea of taking a $65,000 punt on a desert, deserted island, rather, in 17. Now they stand to make millions of dollars on a single transaction. Um, now, of course, the island is subject to, uh, you know, inclement weather, what with hurricanes and all that. In fact, uh, Hurricane Adele left uh, Birkin Island under five feet of water, mm -hmm. but she was quickly, you know, drained and they fixed everything back up and it's yeah. a really reliable source of income. Uh, she holds over 3,000 fans that continue to uh, patron the island and make a lot of money. For, uh, I think weddings. we should it's do like a, a, That'd be really a cool. show out there on the island. I love it. Let's do, a, I'm going to do a show out there. Yeah. yeah. Now it says that the owners are willing to accept cash offers, obviously. I mean, what's better than cash? Yeah. Um, but that they're also open to auctioning the entire island off as a non-fungible token in a cryptocurrency exchange transaction. Whoever buys the island will have the privilege of owning one of the few private islands in the Tampa Bay area. That is cool to me. That Buying is a $65,000 really cool. piece of property, making, uh, turning into 14 million. What kind of, what kind of turnover is that? That's a percentage. That's a what? That's a hell of a percentage. Oh my yes. God! Yeah, that's what I was sitting there thinking. I mean, like sixty-five thousand dollars to one million is—that's like uh, zero point six percent of a million dollars, is it? Mm -hmm. And then you add fourteen on that. Mm -hmm. Th that's like a—I don't even know what the math is on that. That's cool. I'd love to do that. I actually got a little picture of the island here. I can show you. It doesn't look like nine acres. They might have had some sand dredged in and made it bigger. I don't know. But anyway, that's kind of. If you want to see the island, you want to go buy it. That is the oh, that is island. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, fourteen million just sitting around. Just fourteen million. And by the way, speaking of money, the Powerball or the Mega Million or whatever it is now, the lottery has reached one billion dollars. And that's in Georgia. I, uh, in that the, in the Mega Million or Powerball, isn't that like all over? There's people with yeah, one different states. Yeah. Oh, okay. Out, okay. we're just behind the time. We don't have it here in Alabama. Yeah. Like, we're like, what are you talking about? Anyway, we can last one while you roll across the Georgia line and give them our money there. Kay Ivy. Kay we, need, we need the lottery. Come on, Mimo, you got this. You can do this. We love our governor. She's working for it. Yeah. I'm Darren Not AK Southern Mama. And I'm Red Squirrel. Phil's behind the camera. We thank you so much for being here. Happy Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow.